Hi, I'm Des. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, guys. Um, I don't say this to out all the alcoholics in the room. I say this because as a neurodivergent, I'm 40% more likely to develop substance abuse disorder. My sobriety birth date is December 17th, 2013. I'm more likely, thank you, I'm more likely to have been in trouble with the law, fired from a job, struggle choosing an occupation, have failed relationships, or die before the age of 40. That number is due in large part to poor impulse control, anxiety, and depression. Neurodiversity is an umbrella term referring to a deviation from the norm in terms of neurological functioning. Think autism, dyslexia, ADHD. These all come with their own sets of symptoms. You put them all in a bag, and what you grab, you got. I drew, yeah, I drew ADHD, autism, emotional dysregulation, anxiety, and depression. PTSD and substance abuse disorder came later. We tend to self-medicate, understandably. Poor impulse control leads to addiction. So I'm gonna get a little sciency for a second. ADHD is a disorder in our executive functioning, our ability to execute. It's been called the bad boy of psychiatry, rivaling bipolar and schizophrenia. It can have a profound effect on our ability to thrive in today's world. Our prefrontal, our prefrontal cortex is in charge of executive function, which is in charge of impulse control and sustained focus on a task over time towards a goal. It's the catalyst for action, how we get from point A to point Z in a linear fashion. For me, there is no linear fashion. If a task is super stimulating, my brain will cooperate, but if it's mundane or overwhelming, forget it. Yes, I multitask, but what good is that when nothing gets finished? I'll be engaged in a thing, and a thing with more pizzazz comes along, and I am gone. Will I return to the original thing? Who knows? I am like Pee Wee Herman, flitting about the toy store, sparkly thing to sparkly thing. In many ways, I am a grown child. Actually, Pee Wee led the life many, night, mer, bleh, many neurodivergents covet. A life full of adventure, disguises, and weirdos. Perfect. Incidentally, the late Paul Rubens had plans to bring Pee Wee back. He wanted to send him to a mental hospital where he would receive shock therapy for his alcoholism. This is no joke, um, but it's funny as hell. Paul Rubens was autistic. For me, autism is more how things feel in my world. I'm highly sensitive to random things like sounds and textures and social situations where I might have to attempt small talk. We don't like small talk. We like big talk about unusual things. After spending hours bouncing from room to room doing everything but what I set out to do, or engaged in heated and colorful arguments with my Alexa, it's impossible, even futile, to take myself too seriously. Peter Pan was right. Growing up is such a barbarous business, full of inconvenience. My ADHD won't let me stop to pull up my sleeves when I'm about to do the dishes so I invariably end up with wet sleeves. For someone with autism, a wet sleeve is absolute torture requ requiring hasty doing of the dishes in order to remove the offending article of clothing. It can be exhausting, sometimes just showing up adulting when my mind is a million miles away, thinking a thousand thoughts all at once, or stuck in ADHD paralysis and easy to become overwhelmed and slip into depression. I have to set myself up for success. Mindfulness meditation works wonders. So does yoga. It works to slow down my brain. My best days start when I remember to dance in my living room before I leave the house. When I start to feel sketchy, I break and shake like a dog. Try it, it works. And meds, meds help. This world wasn't set up for us, but here we are. I've spoken about the challenges we face so that you might have more of an appreciation for what it takes for some of us to show up on the daily and contribute to our communities in bold and colorful and sometimes bizarre ways. 
Lady Gaga. She's on a campaign to raise awareness about women who have ADHD, because she does. Robert Downey Jr., clean and sober 20 years, ADHD and autistic, drop dead gorgeous. Sir Anthony Hopkins, ADHD, autism, 47 years sober. For a neurodivergent to show up fully manifested is a wondrous and curious thing to behold. We can be too honest, too blunt. Sometimes we speak too loudly because we feel like we are speaking over a very loud world, which is why we are the comics, the actors, and the artists. We are the bold and the bright and the quiet and the quirky and the odd and the unusual, the fearless and the terrified because we are pretty much winging it, but we're never boring. And if we ruled the world, every day would be Halloween because there are so many versions of us just dying to come out. I'm hoping you recognize someone you know from my version of neurodivergence and appreciate that this is neurological and maybe cut us a break if we don't close the cabinets all the way because it bugs our ears or we're pre-opening them for next time. <laughs> we're doing the best we can, that's true by the way. Which is why I'm headed over to YouTube to launch Catapult Lounge, a place for neurodivergence to support, celebrate all that we are. My first video goes up next Wednesday. It was supposed to go up this Wednesday, but somehow I ended up with a puppy. So next Wednesday. So please head over to Catapult Lounge on YouTube next Wednesday. Um, like and subscribe because I would appreciate the support.